Luxembourg is one of the dream destination of a lot of people, yes. And it's a very beautiful country and also one of the richest country or the richest country in Europe. They have a really, really high uh, salary rate for people that, you know, that want to work in Luxembourg. So there is another pathway that I've been waiting for it to start so that I will be able to explain to you guys how you can go about it. I'm going to tell you all the details, all the questions that you might ask and all the details that you will need to start your application as soon as possible so without wasting time let us go straight to what we have but before then guys I want to welcome everybody that today is your first time seeing me I want to welcome you to next step with cherry and my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support and guys please remember to click the like button and also share this video please share 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 this video with your friends in your groups so that people will as well get uh, knowledge and information about this pathway that we are going to explore today. There is this route that people usually, especially non-EU, used to move to Luxembourg. It opens twice a year, one around May and one around October. The application process lasts probably a month or so, and then the opportunities are various in various fields, various sectors. So what am I talking about today? I'm talking about a particular traineeship usually open for non-EU that want to work in Luxembourg. But the thing is that you are not the one that will be going and you know you are not the one that will be looking for the jobs or things like that. No. They already have the group of companies, organizations that have come together that want to bring in workers. And these workers are in form of internship. But before you run away, before you run away, this internship even pays you more than most countries in Europe or some countries in Europe pay you for full time job. Yes, it pays you for that and also like a stipend that will cover your accommodation and things around that. Letter that they're going to give you, it states everything that it covers, the financial uh, things that it covers. So that is a very good opportunity for people that would want to try this route to move to Luxembourg. How does it work? So how it works is that right now when I checked, uh, because I was waiting for them to post more opportunities. So when I checked uh, yesterday, they have 460 something positions that are open. And this position are not just, they're, they're not, I, I did not even see anyone in IT. Of course, I did not scroll everyone, but from the first, tops that I saw, the, the, the top 10 or whatever that I saw, they are in various sectors. In sectors like uh, in sectors like front office, yes, front office and receptionist, uh, customer service, uh, customer care, customer representative. I also saw human resources. I saw people in accounting, finance, banking. If you know anybody in this area, they are also recruiting people in this area. Then of course, people in IT, people in various areas they are recruiting for them. They have 460 something uh, positions that are open. So what are the documents that they require? We are going to see that. I will show you how to apply. It is very important that you wait for that part, how to apply. So the uh, three things that struck out to me is one, they require motivation letter. So you are able, you can choose three, you can choose three positions. So you can apply for three position, for example, human resources, customer service, customer service, that is three, right? So you need to write motivation letter in, uh, to the three. So motivation letter is more of cover letter stating why are you applying for the job? What you hope to get from the job? What do, why do you want to go for that particular company or for that position? Things like that. So that is what will be on the cover letter. And then the CV, you have to as well use a very outstanding CV uh, for those application, highlighting some of the skills they mentioned they need people that have either in your job role or like under your skill uh, uh, section on your CV so you need to highlight that as well like communication teamwork things like that or technical skills that they require so another thing they need is criminal record they need criminal record what is criminal record like your police character uh, certificate right now I know that in Nigeria you can get it online you can do it on the online portal and download it in one or two days I would advise that you go and legalize it at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, just Ministry of Foreign Affairs, so that they will see that it's signed and it's authentic, it's original. So if you can do that, you do it. If you don't want to do it, then that is also on, uh, your choice. So guys, without wasting time, let us go to my laptop. So guys, this is the website and they also have a FAQ that I would really suggest that you go through all those questions. They have questions and answer people that have asked questions and they have responded that before. 
But here, there is no maximum age limit, number one. Number two, non-EU can apply for that. We are going to see where they stated it. And then number three is that the application process does not, oh, we are going to see everything, in fact. So what, what is required? They said, one, you must be 18 years and above. And then two, you have to fulfill the language requirement. That is either English or any other EU language that if you are, if you know that, because it depends on the work that you're applying for. So if that particular opportunity requires only English or French, you know, if you apply with English, fine. If you apply with French, fine. So you need to provide the university diploma. HND can apply. Yes, HND can apply because they said at least three years and above, and HND is almost like four years. So you need to provide your OND and HND together. But this is when you are shortlisted. So when they send you a message that you have been shortlisted for that position you applied, then they will tell you the document that you need to upload. And also, you have to provide your criminal record, and that is your police character certificate. You must not have studied in EU, you must not have worked in EU. So that that is how you can apply for that. So how do you apply? You see that there are two opening positions. One apply in May and one apply in October. The October is going to close by 31st of October. So how do you apply? First, we are going to visit this offer main page. We are going to see that. And then you select an offer that you like to apply. You scroll down, you'll see where they say apply online. You click on that and then you upload your CV and follow the steps that they take, that they mention. You can select three offers, three traineeship positions. So you can select, like I said earlier, you can select human resources, front office, customer care, something like that. You can select three and then you can be able to apply. But please don't apply more than three. Don't submit more than three. Please make sure of that. So how to, uh, the second way of how to apply is also to select an offer you want to apply. Log into your account, upload your CV, only EuroPass format, guys. Upload a motivation letter per offer so if you apply for three you have to upload three motivation letters and each has to be maximum of one page so you guys can see that so how does it work once you have applied they will now do a shortlist so the shortlist will be from 1st of december to 15th of december and then they will send you an email if you have been shortlisted and a link where you will now upload your passport your university diploma your criminal record and then they will contact you with your contract and then you can apply for visa and you can start your work by 1st of march 2024 you guys see the process right so let's go to the uh, traineeship offer so that we can explain it more so this uh, traineeship actually it covers like a lot of european countries we focus more on luxembourg because luxembourg and belgium are the ones that have more open positions so if you come down here you can choose the country in europe that you would want to apply for the traineeship opportunity so you see they have a lot of them but if you see like brussels that is in belgium they have 261 position and also you see like luxembourg have 104 positions so it depends on the one that you want to go for you can click on that and see the position that are open now let's check another one if we come here we will see the uh positions that are also open or the sectors that they have uh, open position in communication in employment economic and finance auditing like you know you guys understand hr recruiting recruitment they also have a law as well they have uh, infrastructure and logistic people in logistic international relations as well uh, administration for administration administrative works it multilingualism for people that can speak french maybe translation and uh, EU internal policy, things like that. So you guys can check that. They also have another one, uh, Directorate General, uh, if you also want to check these ones as well. They have those opportunities. So let's see how you can apply because I've explained it, but let me show you. I'm just going to use one to show you, but you need to filter to know the one that is best for you, that best fits your language, your background, and you know you have higher chance of, of getting. So I'm going to click on see offer. If you see anyone you click on see offer and then you scroll down here if you read everything of course so that you know if you're eligible and then you can see where they say apply online so once you have click on apply online it will tell you to if you have already registered you will sign in if you've not then you will have to select uh, your cv so they say select cv in europe uh, european format so i'm just going to i'm just going to randomly select a cv so i'm going to select uh, a cv and then you have to click on next so once you click on next
next, you then start uh, filling the whole thing. So you then start filling the whole requirements and everything. So let's see nationality, if we can see our nationality. Yes, Ghanaian is here. So uh, let's see Nigeria. Nigerian is here. Let's see Cameroon. Cameroon is here. Let's see Kenya. Kenya is here. Let's see India. India is also here. So we have all our nationalities here as well. So this is how you can be able to apply for one and then you select and apply for another one. So guys, you can see that. So let's go to the FAQ. I opened the FAQ previously. So let me find that. Okay, here is the FAQ that they mentioned and here is all the information or here are all the information that you will need. So what qualification do I need to apply for this traineeship? You need a university diploma on a completion of at least three years so yes like i said hnd and ond can apply even if you've not received your degree yet you also have to you also you can also apply but you submit it uh, when you are shortlisted or things like that so what is there any age limit they say you must be 18 years and above but there is no maximum age limit and things like that so you also see i'm not an eu citizen can i apply yes you can see that so if you go down you will see more offers as well you see more questions and everything i'll keep the link in the video description so uh you see do i have to pay tax or they also give monthly allowance the monthly allowance is not subject to eu tax at the end of your traineeship you get a uh, certificate how much you have received it is your responsibility to check so you can you don't pay tax in europe you will not that money they give you you will not pay tax in europe so yes they will give you monthly allowance as well so guys this is it about this traineeship tell me if you'll be trying this program please try it try it try it apply 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 because right now all you need to submit is your motivation letter and your cv once you are shortlisted, you now submit the, the rest of the documents. So guys, please apply and get your documents ready. Please, please, please uh, find the program among these 400 opportunities to see the one that matches best with, best with your background and then apply. Share with your friends also. If you know anybody that can speak French or any EU language, if you see any opportunity that requires people like that it, uh, on this uh, platform, please also share with them so they can as well get this information. Please, please share, share, share and see you guys on my next video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel bye